Hey, first graders, it's Friday, September 11th. I hope you have had a great week of virtual learning. I really enjoyed seeing your faces on Tuesday for our Google Meets. Today, you have optional Google Meets, so you can choose to come and hang out with me at 10 or 2. So those are your two choices for today. Today in our group, we are going to be doing some math games and math songs. So we did reading in our group on Tuesday. We're going to do some math things in our group today. So I hope you will join me for that. Your question of the day today is a fun would you rather question. My question for you is would you rather kiss a frog or hug a snake? Huh. Kind of interesting to think about. I can't really decide which one I would do. Probably. Hmm. I think kiss a frog, even though that would be kind of gross to have the frog on my lips. I think I would rather do that than hug a snake because snakes kind of scare me. Some of you may not think the same way. I'm interested to see which one has the most votes today. It's a multiple choice question. So just click on the one that you would prefer. I hope everyone was able to get their curriculum bags yesterday or Wednesday. If you did not pick them up, please try to do that today. You can just call the school and arrange your pickup. That way you'll be able to use your things that you got in your bags next week. Now in your bags, you saw that you have some different materials. One thing that I know a lot of friends are very excited about is this math workbook. Now, if I put it in your instructions for today, if you would like to try to use the math workbook today, then you can use it along with the slides and you could do some of your work in here. And I put the page numbers in your math lesson for today. So if you want to use it, you can. Now, there's a lot that you didn't get to do because maybe you were we weren't we didn't have the workbook yet. So if you want to go back, if you have some extra time today or any time that you have extra time, and you want to do, I believe it will be lessons one through 10. You may do any of those pages for extra practice. Now, do not, please do not work ahead. That way we're, we all say on the same spot um, and you might have questions or may not understand a concept and we're learning those things in our math videos that we watch. So just make sure that you only do lessons one through 10. And then I believe today is lesson 11. So the page numbers for that lesson are in your Google Classroom. So exciting. You also received a phonics work mat and some letters. You can cut out those letters so that you can push them along with the video. That's a great way for you to learn your spelling and be able to think about those sounds. You can also use, if you have a dry erase marker at your house, or if your parents would like to get you one, you may use one of those on your phonics work mat because it has that plastic sleeve. And you could, excuse me, write your words on the back of the page or on the front, just like you see in the phonics lessons. So you can use those things to help you as well. You also have an ABC chart and a blends chart. Those are great things to have out next to you when you're writing, or if you need to look for a sound, or if you're doing your phonics. So use that to help you. You also saw that you have a blank 100 chart. It actually goes from zero all the way to 120. So please do not use that yet. I will tell you probably sometime next week what we're going to do with that. So please do not use that yet. I think I've said everything that's in the bag. If I've left something off and you have a question about it, just message me on Remind or in Google Classroom, send me an email, let me know, and I will be happy to answer any questions that you have. Okay, I think we're ready to start the day. Before I go and let you start working, I want to remind you that today is September 11th, and you might have heard your family talk about this day in our nation's history. September 11th, 2001 was a day in our history that's kind of hard to, to think about because it was a hard day for our country. 
some bad things happened on September 11th. Um, you aren't born yet, but your parents remember the things that happened in our country. And if they would like to explain those things to you, then go ahead and ask them and see um, what they would like to share with you. But I am just going to leave you today with a book. Now, this event that happened on September 11th in 2001 happened in the city of New York, New York City. And it happened to the two towers. We call them the Twin Towers or the World Trade Center. And the story that I'm sharing with you today is in the next slide after the morning message. And you can watch it. It's one of my favorite books because it remembers a happier time when the two towers were still standing. And sometimes when there are hard things that happen in our country, it's really good to go back and remember the good times. So I would love for you to watch this book. It's called The Man Who Walked Between the Towers. And there's actually a movie that um, your parents might allow you to watch or they might tell you about it. This is a true story of a man who actually walked between these two towers. So I hope that you'll take some time and watch that as well. Hey guys, I hope you have a great Friday and a great weekend. I look forward to seeing you at our optional Google Meets today. Bye guys.